Hi, my name is Samuel Garcia. I would like to talk about this year's mission trip. This year's trip impacted all of us, and I would like to thank Mrs. Heisman, Mrs. Doherty, and Mr. Dickinson, and Mr. and Mrs. Theria, because without them, this trip wouldn't have been possible. The mission trip had a great impact on me this year. It changed my perspective on how God calls on us. Mr. Theria shared a message with us about being the light in a world full of darkness. There were three things we learned. The first is that we are called out from the darkness. Next, we are called into the light. And lastly, we are called to tell others about God and share the light. This was such an important message for all of us eighth graders as we, as we now enter high school. We will face challenges, but we need to remember we have been called out of the darkness and into God's light. And he has prepared us to share the gospel. The music during our worship time each evening was amazing. Thank you, Mr. Dickinson. I absolutely felt the Holy Spirit in that room all those nights. Every time I hear the song Living Hope, I will remember the amazing time I had a moving message go up with me. During the trip, we worked hard and had a ton of fun. We shoveled and spread about two tons of gravel, and it was very dusty and very time consuming. There were so many weeds that needed to be pulled. They had at least one inch long thorns on them, and our hands were super, super sore after several days of pulling them. We also spent an entire day on the Navajo Reservation. We helped to clean their youth recreation center as well as another group painted the pastor's parsonage. Aside from all of the hard work, we had a lot of fun too. We played nine square, went kayaking, and took a really cool and took a really cool trip to a place called Rock Art Ranch. I hope that as we all head into high school next year, we are filled with the courage and willingness to share the gospel, invite people to church, and hopefully play, play a part in leading them to the Lord. We may even face the challenges of having to defend our faith, but we need to remember that we are called out of the darkness and into the light, and God has prepared us for the obstacles that lie ahead of us.